Good morning, guys, and welcome to a spooked out version of me, Matt the Booty Berserker. The reason I say that is there's some weird goings on in this place this morning. Wife's at work, two dogs are asleep in their bed, and I'm sure I've heard talking out the back. I'm sure I've heard movement out the back and everything. And yeah, I don't know quite what's going on. It's almost like there is somebody here, and every time I go through there, there's no one there. And I'm kind of slightly freaked out about it, but. There you go, paranormal in beta berserker world. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, hope you guys are keeping safe and well with all the madness that's going off in the world, trying to keep sort of mentally sane. He says, saying that he's hearing stuff out the back of his house, but trying to keep mentally sane and sort of motivated because it's not going to be anything worse. I mean, I've been furloughed now since before Christmas, and there's going to be nothing worse. And going back to work full time, sort of 40 hours plus a week, and just that would probably kill me. Um, so yeah, just try and sort of keep myself fit and motivated. And I hope you guys are doing the same. Thank you so so much to each and every single one of you guys out there that's surpri uh, surprised, um, that's um, subscribed. I couldn't think of the word then. Subscribe to my channel. And then, as you can tell, all the videos that I do on my channel is just me. An old man with his iPad in front of him, trying his damnedest and hardest to help promote, support, and advertise only small brands, individuals, and craftsmen out there, not huge, massive, faceless brands. And all of the videos that I do are completely unscripted. There's no editing, so more often than not, it does take me a long, long while to do some of these videos with various things that are going on. I just hope that I'm not going to see out the corner of my eye one of the doors opening or something like this morning because. I'll end up grabbing a knife and getting stabby with it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But anyway, this morning's review has been very, very kindly sent through from All Agog. All Agog? Who is that? Basically, it, she is on Folksy. She is from Gloucestershire. Her name is Jen. And she does amazing things with upcycling. Um, she's very kindly sent this through for me to have a look at. Everything um, that she's done, she is kind of completely custom work. She sent through a letter. We'll have a look at the products. And I'm not here blowing smoke rings up at people's backside. You know, it's not what it's about. Because like I said before in all my other videos, I'm a consumer as much as anyone else. And there's nothing worse than you get some money left over once you've paid all those nasty bills. And you go out and you buy something, it just falls apart, doesn't work, doesn't live up to expectations. So all of my reviews always happen and always will be completely honest, completely uh, unbiased, and everything I do is my own honest opinion. <coughs> so this is All Agog. Links, as always, will be down below in the description box. All Agog, uh, Jen at allagog.co.uk. Custom lights made to order, battery or USB plug. And if you use code HNY21, you get 10% off your next order. So there you go. Dear Matt, hope you like your mini lampshades. Thanks for your interest. Best wishes, Jen. That's really nice, that is. Thank you for that. And um, that will go actually in my tin where I keep all the other letters and everything from each and every single review that I've ever done on my channel. So that when I'm slightly older than I am, um, I can look through it and go, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Anyway. Enclosed was a letter. This is a letter, and this is what she says. Uh, All Agog Handmade. I am sorry, I'm Jen of All Agog, and I'm a passionate about textiles and upcycling. So am I. Um, I repurpose plastic tasted glasses that are destined for rubbish bin and turn them into mini lampshades on a string of fairy lights. Damn good idea. After leaving my pretty good job at local county council after 12 years, um, early midlife crisis perhaps, I've had many midlife crisis, I tend to have one every sort of like two or three years, I decided to run away with a circus, well almost, following the spell, putting up uh, glamorous glamping yurts at festivals, the best fun ever with the fantastic fresh yurts, forever grateful. I was shocked at how many shot glasses literally littered everywhere. And so through... And so the embryo of an idea was born in a field somewhere amid a, lots of glitter and mud and remained seed-like and dormant for a while. Fast forward a few years during which I did my PGCE and become an early years teacher and then an enforced period of rest and recuperation following major surgery and the little embryo was allowed to grow. 
uh, and out popped all the gog. A wonderful bundle of joy born from a pretty tough time in her life and she's loving the journey. To continue with this analogy, I think we're in a fabulous toddler years. Uh, learned to walk a little shakily at times, but getting stronger all the time and I cannot wait to watch uh, my little business grow and grow. So all the glasses that she uses, her glasses are donated from other local businesses including apple juice makers, wineries and cider makers who would prefer their plastic to stay out of the landfill. We'll go into that in just a second. Um, I also make embe embellished lavender filled bunting and use leftover fabric to make hair accessories and flower brooches, waste not, want not. I do custom lights to order and do USB plugged or solar lights too and can even use your own special fabrics so please contact me if you'd like a particular colour, combination or length of fabric. If you're wondering where the name comes from, all the gog, um, it packs a triple whammy, it's a cinnamon, uh, cinnam, synonym, not a cinnamon, that's slightly different stuff. If a surname keen it means in high spirits and also refers to my hailing from North Wales and so I'm all agog a, a co colloquialism derived from Welsh gogled meaning north. Funny enough, my ancestors have, well, originally from Ireland, moved up to Scotland and down to Wales. And my nan, or my grandfather and my grandmama, they uh, lived that way. Uh, package. Don't know why I told you that. My packaging is nearly all recycled or recyclable or both. My boxes are made from recycled cardboard and all but the window is fully recyclable. As soon as somewhere makes these windows with recyclable windows that is also affordable, I will switch, wrap my parcels for sending it in recycled brown paper and use uh, Tessa film to stick recycled clear tape. I print all the stickers myself at home on craft stickers. So there you go, bit about them. And I love, I've said it before, I love upcycling. Because my job used to be, I live by the sea. It's literally, like I said before, down there, down a the cliff, there's the sea. And my job was teaching kids and adults about beach conservation, marine conservation, well, beach conservation, but marine conservation and stuff. And I live by the sea. This time of year is beautiful because there's no tourists or anything like that other than the crap that gets washed in up the beaches and everything. Summer months here, all the tourists descend on the place, even though there are bins everywhere, just literally the amount of stuff left on the beaches and around is just ridiculous. We do have a couple of local artists actually that do make sort of sculptures and stuff out of the plastic bottles and stuff, so kind of upcycling. So I think it's a way to go. And in a lot of the video, in all the videos I do, I always kind of check that the packaging, that the products come in and stuff like that. Is it upcycled? Are they using plastic bags where they don't need to? To be honest, if something turns up in a brown paper bag, happy with that. It's great. It doesn't affect the product inside of it, and it's just a little bit of less waste. And actually, where I used to work as well, we made a massive um, turtle out of plastic bottles as well, just to kind of demonstrate the crap that was left on the beach. So I am all up for upcycling. And this is what came through. Let's take them out. This is the box it came in, um, all agog. Handmade, these lights are made from upcycled taster, uh, tester, shot glasses, taster glasses, all agog, handmade, all agog. So really, really nice packaging and oh, I need a bit of glitter in there. Sparkly, sparkly. Nothing wrong with a bit of sparkly. And these are the ones that she sent through and they are epic. I love the pieces. These are... And the battery operated ones uh, sent through. Batteries didn't come with it because obviously you can't really send batteries in the post in case things explode. Switch fully left to stay on. Switch to middle for auto timer setting six hours on and switch off until same time next day. Um, Autogog handmade www.autogog.co.uk. So really nice. And these were the ones I went for because I like tartan. I got tartan everywhere. I don't know anything to see. Got tartan on the radiator over there, I've got tartan on the table here, loads of kilts and stuff like that, um, love tartan, and this is what she has created, they are absolutely stunning, there is a string of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I think it's 10, unless I'm not counting right, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, string of 10 of them, with these fairy lights in there, you can see where they used to, um, what well how they used to be shot glasses or little tasted glasses 
absolutely bloody stunning. I got to choose everything, the fabric, the trim on them. You can send her your fabric if there's special fabric you want to use. And she has made these and I'm not great with my fingers, you right? And if I get a model kit or something to do like that, I tend to get more glue over my fingers than to do the modern stick bits that should be stuck to other bits. There's not a trace of glue on here. There's not a trace of tape on here. The quality is impeccable. Even if you look around the trim, there's no kind of real sort of join line or anything like that. Whereas with me, it would look a mess. Um, I think this is a great idea. And to show you what the lights look like when you turn them on, I'm probably not going to notice in this light because it's daylight, but I'll close a curtain. Um, that's not helped at all. But yeah, really, really nice. Then, and the thing that I like about them as well is they're not too bright or anything like that. And me and the wife are actually moving very, very soon within the next few weeks. House next door, which is great because we ain't got to do removal things. And these are going to go above the bed in the bedroom. I like the fact that you get a choice whether it's USB or whether it's battery operated. To be honest, where I'm planning on having them, I would have no place to plug in a USB. Um, so it's nice to have that opportunity in choosing. And like I said, in, or she said in the letter, it does do um, solar ones as well. So really, really nice. Each one, the quality and craftsmanship on each one of these lights is as impeccable as last. And I do sit there with items and I don't test them to destruction if you, because everything breaks. I mean, if you tread on them, they're going to break or everything. But each one is just meticulously made. There's no kind of like, oh, she, she got to the end of those and couldn't be bothered. Each one is absolutely brilliant. Just such a cool idea with using someone's junk, bits of fabric and stuff like that, a string of lights to create something really, really cool. And I, I just think for a bit of home de decor, bit of feng shui in around the house, just really cool, you know? Especially as your kind of brain is your own, the, well, the things you could have done with these are absolutely endless, endless possibilities. So I've got a cho choice of trim, a choice of tartan and everything on there. Uh, this one is the Royal Stuart tartan. But absolutely brilliant quality stuff. We had these on last night and just kind of marvelling at them because I'm just a sad old person. And I think it's probably the starting stage of senality, just staring at lights going, well, oh, they're, they're pretty cool. And the price of these lights, 26 quid. And I think that's cool because they are bespoke made to you how you want, what you want, trim you want and everything like that. Choose how they're powered. Really, really, really cool. I love upcycling, and this shows that you can make something really classy and something really quite nice with old stuff. You know, I'm not saying Blue Peter because that was a bit slapdash, that was when they built Tracy Island and everything, and everyone at home was trying to make it look jet. But when people have got skills that they can just turn old junk into something like this. I think it's well worth the money because I would much rather pay £26 for a set of lights that I can use than walk along the beach and having to pick up junk. So thank you so, so much to Jen for sending these through for me to have a look at. And me and my wife were talking last night that we're actually going to buy another set to go in the spare bedroom, which will be the new review room. So we'll have these set in um, our bedroom. Then I'm going to order another set to go across a back mirror behind me in my review room. So that will be quite cool and probably be tartan again. Not the same tartan. I'll go for a different colour tartan this time. Um, but absolutely amazing, amazing products. Literally took a couple of days to come through, which is not bad. Took around about a week or so to make them. A couple of days in the post, which is pretty fast considering COVID and everything that's going on. But absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. Please, 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 if you're watching this video, give us some help, give us some support, and give her a sort of like and a follow. Links will be down below to her. Thank you so, so much, Jen. Please keep up this amazing work that you're doing with the upcycling. Double thumbs up for me. I can't give it any more than double thumbs up because I've only got two thumbs. I could hold my big toes up, but they don't really count. But thank you. Thank you so, so much to each and every single one of you out there that's supporting what I'm doing over there on Instagram, the Viking Beer Matt, here on my Beard of Berserker YouTube channel. All the support. Thank you so, so much to Jen. I'm going to go out the back 
and with armed with a Dyson and see if I can suck up some ghost or whatever it is because I can still hear movement out the back now. But there. Thank you guys. If you don't hear from me in a couple of days' time, that means I've been eaten by a ghost or something. Who knows? But wherever you are, keep on taking care of each other. Keep on helping, supporting each other. And above all, keep on loving each other because you only live once. Make the most of it. Try and upcycle. Try and recycle. It's a good thing. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.